Hey guys, I'm Mark, and today I wanted to show you my radishes that I'm just starting to pull for the season. Hey, baby girl. Uh, I've got radishes planted alongside this bed and all the other beds that I have my strawberries in because radishes make an excellent plant to just throw into like the empty spaces of things. Like if you're going to plant something that gets really large and you're waiting for it to get big and you got all that in between time where you have that bare ground that you're not doing anything with, radishes are an awesome plant to put there because they just grow so quickly and they're ready to harvest so quickly. I sowed seed here 23 days ago today and you can see I'm already getting a bunch of radishes out of here and uh, I'm going to continue to pull out of here for probably about the next two weeks or so um, until they're about all done. Uh, you can see there's lettuce behind here. Same sort of principle. Great little uh, space taker upper while you're waiting for the larger things to go. The larger thing in this bed that, I, that I'm talking about is uh, I've got strawberries in here. And these strawberries are going to take a little while before they start sending off runners and trying to take over the bed. So in the meantime, I just threw in some radishes and some lettuce. Uh, but this variety of radishes, I really, really like it. It's called an Easter egg blend. And there's just all oh, so many different colors in there. I mean, there's white ones, pink ones, red ones, purple. There's even like a, like a beet colored one, which is really interesting. Um, great flavor. I just, I can't wait to get home and kind of just taste each one right after the other and see if I can tell the differences uh, in the flavor. And then I've also got a couple stripes of, this one's called Rover F1. That's just a good standard red radish. You can see it's also very fast. But uh, I'm just going through today is my first, uh, my first little picking here. I'm just weeding out, I guess weeding out or thinning out all the plants that are a little bit too close together. And uh, look at that one. And uh, it's, it's really fun with these Easter egg varieties because uh, you can't really see what the color is so much when you're looking down on top of them until you get really close. And it's sort of like a neat little discovery. But anyway, I'll pull these up. And uh, right after I pull them up, what I'll do is I'll hose them off right away, get them nice and clean. I think it's easier that way than to, than to sit and wait an hour before the soil kind of gets dried on there. It's a little, more, a little more difficult later on to get them clean. But uh, it's a great time for me to show you what I love about my little hose setup here that we always use. Uh, I just screw this wand off down to my ball valve here. And that makes a nice little easy thing that I use all the time. See the rinse produce off with, nice and light like that. Or even uh, you can give it a little bit more power, like if you step in something, you can uh, hose your boot off. Yeah, Holly knows what I'm talking about. Anyway, great to rinse them off. And then uh, once you get them inside, well, what I'll do is I'll, I'll band them up like this if I'm going to give them away to people. Um, but if I'm, if I'm keeping a bunch for myself, what I'll do is I'll get them inside, I'll cut all the tops off, cut the roots off a little bit, and then I'll stick them in a jar with some salt water, like a salt water brine, about two to three tablespoons of salt for every four cups of water. And what that does is it keeps the radishes nice and crisp in the refrigerator. They don't start shrinking or shriveling up. Um, just, just keeps them really, really nice and fresh that way. And if you want, actually, instead of putting the jar in the refrigerator, you can start to ferment them with same brine. Uh, just leave them outside of the refrigerator and make sure you keep the, the lid on a little bit loose so that uh, the air can escape. And you want to weigh down the radishes a little bit underneath the water too, so that they're not exposed. And they'll, they'll ferment in the jar. And that, uh, that winds up being a really cool way to extend the life of your harvest. So anyway, those are my radishes right now. I'm looking forward to sowing a whole nother batch that I'll have here in about another, well, 23 or so days. And uh, just excellent plant, wanted to share it with you. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next time.